Catherine O'Hara, how can she make crying sound so funny? <laughs> it was really fun to record. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're looking at Elemental, the voice cast. You're so hot. Excuse me? No, I mean like you're smoking. No, I didn't mean it like that. Are you done yet? Yes, please. For this list, we'll be looking at where on earth you H2 know the fire cast of this 2023 Pixar animation. Since we'll be discussing specific characters, some spoilers may be up ahead. Do you think this cast was totally in their element? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Innocent Akakati as Marco and Polo Ripple this relative silver screen newcomer plays Wade Ripple's adorably bubbly nephews Marco and Polo. We got two kids swimming around here somewhere. Marco! Polo! <laughs> Ikakati has reportedly been acting since he was just three years old. And if you're a fan of Apple TV's Little America or the Foster spin-off Good Trouble, you might be thinking, hey, I recognize that voice. Okay, how about we order pizza? Pizza! 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 Or perhaps you know him from his biggest role to date, Leo, in the Netflix live-action adaptation of the Ivy and Bean book franchise. We need a ghost expelling spell. I wouldn't mind expelling a few ghosts. The cockatee is credited under additional voices in Elemental, but we won't be surprised if the actor continues to make a major splash, and we can't wait to see whatever he does next. Number 9. Matthew Yang King as Alan Ripple Meet Wade's big bro and Marco and Polo's dad, Alan. We got two kids swimming around here somewhere. Marco! Polo! <laughs> He's voiced by Matthew Yang King, who's certainly no stranger to the voice acting world. So where have you heard him before? Well, his credits include, but are in no way limited to Father Slash Kazuo in the English dub of Only Yesterday, Persuader in Justice League vs. The Fatal Five, and Adult Liang slash Renshu and more in Love, Death, and Robots. He's also voiced countless video game characters. Okay, so now we've placed his voice, but how about his face? Karatasan is located on the northeast corner of the warehouse. We're gonna have to move fast because he's injured. Gang, Lynch, you're gonna go in from the south. Owen and I will cover your flank. Understood. He's had recurring roles in TV series like Strong Medicine, Numbers, and 24. And most Riverdale fans might recognize him as Marty Mantle. Reggie, what about our dream about being partners? Full partners. That's your dream, Dad. Number 8. Joe Para as Fern Grouchwood Known for his old spirit trapped in a young man's body comedy style, Para is totally in his element here. How you doing? Living the dream. Are you wondering where you've heard this distinct voice before? Possibly from this season 12 episode of Bob's Burgers, where he plays Christopher. Or maybe his recurring appearance on F is for Family rings a bell? Hey Frank, I'm Ed, the ground chief over at Ale Equipment. I know, Ed. You've been here for seven years. Didn't want to assume. Perhaps you learned a life lesson from his series, Joe Para Talks You to Sleep, or Joe Para Talks With You. He's also a familiar face on the late night comedy circuit. It's crazy to be here tonight on the same night as uh, Katie Holmes, because uh, my name's Joe and she played Joey on Dawson's Creek. Mm. Also, uh, Joe Biden is our president. Wow. <laughs> In Elemental, he plays Fern Grouchwood, a square bureaucrat who, judging by his sarcastic wit and slow moves, is so ready for retirement. Looks like I'm going home early today. Number 7. Mason Wertheimer as Claude Now let's introduce you to Claude, a sweet, quick-witted, smooth-talking Earth element who carries a huge flame for his neighbor Ember. Yo, 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 Ember! Yo, Claude, can't talk, in a hurry. And don't let my dad catch you out here again. What? Come on, he doesn't like my limbs, do you think? Elemental marks the young actor's feature film debut and his first properly credited role. Check it out! I'm all grown up, and I smell good. Ow! My queen! However, if you're familiar with the podcast mockumentary series Past My Bedtime, you may have heard his voice before. The 2022 series, to which he provided additional voices, starred the likes of Zach Galifianakis, Whoopi Goldberg, David Harbour, Seth Meyers, and more. So while Wertheimer is a relative newcomer on the scene, he's no stranger to complimenting an A-list cast. Sorry, but it'd take an act of God to get me across that bridge. An act of God or an act of Claude? Number 6. Catherine O'Hara as Brooke Ripple 
Come on, as soon as you heard her name, which iconic Moira Rose quote popped into your head? David, stop acting like a disgruntled pelican. Maybe you jumped into the Deo Banana Boat song. Or perhaps you just shot forward and screamed, Kevin! Needless to say, this Emmy Award-winning actress has a plethora of impressive credits under her belt. Whether impersonating celebs on Second City Television, or lending her voice to numerous beloved animated characters like Sally in The Nightmare Before Christmas, O'Hara leaves her indelible mark on everything she touches. Let go! You're not ready for so much excitement. Yes, I am! You're coming with me! No, I'm not! And we have no doubt she'll do the same as Wade's supportive go-getter mom, Brooke, in Elemental. Amber! Oh, I don't want to put you out! Number 5. Wendy McClendon Covey as Gail Cumulus Get ready to be blown away by Gail, Wade's larger-than-life boss. Break some wind! Toot toot! Toot toot. She's a force to be reckoned with, much like McClendon Covey's character on The Goldbergs. Smuggle bug. Circular motions. We've had this discussion. Just give it to me. See? Feel that difference? Aside from the overbearing Beverly Goldberg, we've seen her exercising her improv skills in Reno 911 and making recurring appearances on Rules of Engagement. I am one sweaty dog. <laughs> Woof! <laughs> I'm gonna have that drink. Of course, her silver screen breakout role in 2011's Bridesmaids is unforgettable. She has three kids now. Three boys. Yes. So cute. <laughs> they are cute, but when they reach that age, they're just Disgusting. They smell, they're sticky. It led to a slew of other comedic film roles, including The Single Moms Club, and who can ever forget her rapping skills on Think Like a Man 2? Poison, dead, moving in slow, looking for a mellow fella like to go get paid. Laid so better lay low, scheming on house money and the whole show. When it comes to comedy, McClendon Covey always goes hard, but she makes it look like a breeze. Number 4. Sheila Omi as Cinder Lumen. Playing Ember's fiery mom Cinder is actress Sheila Omi. What her guy? Cinder has a talent for recognizing true love through the smell of smoke from other fire elements. She and her family immigrated to Element City, but she struggles to settle into her new home. As the daughter of immigrants, the actress said she could relate to the story. No matter how tough things got, we were always grateful to be alive. We were grateful to have each other, and we laughed a lot. But where have you seen Omi before? Well, she made numerous guest appearances in TV shows like Little America and The Bold Type. We were willing to sacrifice everything for the cause. Maybe you saw her play Sarah in The Illegal in 2019. However, she's arguably best known for the Apple TV Plus series, Tehran. Number 3. Ronnie Del Carmen as Bernie Lumen. Portraying Cinder's husband, Bernie is animator and voice actor Ronnie Del Carmen. It's almost as if like it was tailor-made mm -hmm. for me because being an immigrant, being a father, being a son myself, living in another country from where I was born. Bernie's a fire element with strong ties to his roots, but he moves his family to Element City for a better future. He plans on passing his Firetown convenience store to his daughter once he retires. And like his wife, he's uneasy around water elements. Then inspect this! Dad. That shoots. Yep. Oh, it's good to me. No, 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 no. Inspect with your mouth. You can typically find Del Carmen behind the scenes, writing, directing, designing, illustrating, or lending his voice to animated characters. He provided additional voices on two other modern Pixar classics, Inside Out and Soul, the former of which he also co-wrote. My body is in a trance in Palawan. He likely knows the biz inside out. Sounds like a perfect match. So you would probably find me I mean, when I was a kid, I would be staging these little dramas where and everything is imaginary. Number 2. Mamadou Ache as Wade Ripple Ache plays Wade Ripple, one half of the central duo in Elemental. Wade's a sentimental soul who's, quote, very emotional and cries at the drop of a hat. I've just never been punched in the face with beauty before. Apparently, the film's director, Peter Sohn, floated the idea of casting Ache after seeing him cry in the 2019 miniseries, Oh, Jerome, No. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. 
And let's not forget that he has already received a Primetime Emmy nomination for playing Jerome in the anthology series Cake. But if you didn't catch that, then maybe you saw him in The Circle in 2017 or Black Box in 2020. It's pretty elemental. Jared will be doing your training. I oversee the team and Jared oversees the unit. As you know, he'll be doing straight up customer maintenance for the smaller advertisers. He's also recognizable for playing Ramsey Cole in the 2022 Jurassic World Dominion. The T-Rex is here. Oh yeah? Yeah. All right, just before you guys. <laughs> We can't wait to see where else his career flows. Ooh, thought bubble. Maybe we play the crying game? Let me guess. You try to cry? We try not to cry. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Leah Lewis as Ember Lumen The other half of this unlikely pairing is played by Leah Lewis. You're so hot. <laughs> Excuse me? No, I mean like you're smoking. No, I didn't mean it like that. Are you done yet? Yes, please. I'm waiting to talk to your boss, so make like a stream and flow somewhere else. Ember can be hot-headed, which is unideal when you need people skills to run a convenience store. But then she meets Wade. Sone shared that it was the, quote, vulnerability in her voice as Ellie Chu in the half of it that essentially landed Lewis the role of Ember. It's not finding your perfect half. It's the trying and reaching and failing. He wanted an actress who could be fiery at times and provide a warm glow at others. Lewis has also lit up the screen as Georgia George Fan in the CW's Nancy Drew and lends her voice to Cassandra Kane Batgirl in the Batwheels animated series. Give it up, Penguin! You know I'm gonna catch you! This whole cast is lit and brings a tidal wave of entertainment. Winner, winner, charcoal dinner! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.